Have a blessed day brethren, welcome to the synagogue of all nations, in Kampala Uganda, built by the people, and for the people, known as Kakanda Ministries, headed by Prophet Samuel Kakanda. Come, visit Kakanda Ministries, let Prophet Kakanda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakanda Ministries are free. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it, and they are saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it, and they are saved. Viewers all over the world, good morning. A simple topic today. Step into faith. And speak his word. This is where complication comes from. Once somebody begins a prayer. He began by speaking his own words. And looking at his own ability. And his disabilities. His weaknesses. That is not faith. A foot which has stepped into faith. Will not speak on its behalf. That, that man will speak on God's behalf because he is not the one who is going to do the work. God will do the work. You step into faith expecting God to do what he promised to do. Once you step into faith God's promises are with you. So his work is to do what he promised. Then if you know that you are not the one who is going to do it, you start imagining how great, how powerful, how good God is. Look at these two men at a confrontation. And one wants to kill the other. But listen to what happened. I'm reading first Samuel. Chapter 17. Verse 44. And the first ten said to David, Come to me, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Listen. 45. Then David said to the first ten, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of us, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the first ten to the birds of the air and the world beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with the sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. Awo Dawudi na gamba mfilisi utinti. Oja jendi na chitala noru nyago, nefumu. Na yeze nsija joli, mulinyari ya mkama uweje. Katondo uweje liya isi lahiri, diosomoze za. 
Lero, mukama ana kugabula mukono gwange era na kukuba ne kujja ko mutwego era na gabira nyonyezo mu banga ne solezo mu nsiko emirambo ejeje eri aba filisuti ensizo nazitegere nga muri mukatonda mu Israeli era kibina kino kyo nachitegere nga mukama talokola na kitala na fumu kubanga olutalo lwa mukama yana bagabula mukono gwafe to God be the glory. What is going on in your life? S stop trusting in your own self. In your own ability. Stop looking at your weakness. Because you are not the one who is going to do it. God will do it for you. He said, this day, the Lord will give you into our hands. Because the war is not mine. You are fighting with the Lord, the creator of heaven and the earth. So, with this issue now, your sickness is no longer your sickness. It is his sickness. The Lord today will fight with that sickness in your body. Just now surrender your hand which is sick. And say to that sickness in the hand, you sickness. Today, this day, the Lord will remove you from my hand. You, 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 fibroids. This day, the Lord Jesus Christ will remove you from my stomach and take you out and I'll be healed. He has never said that we should pray in our own name. Neither work in our own capacity. 14, 13, and 14 of John. He said, in my name. With my authority. Then why do you trouble too much and worry too much? As if you are the one who is going to heal yourself. Once you say in the name of Jesus, it means it is Jesus who is going to do it. Once you step into faith, surrender the rest to Jesus. Lord, I surrender, I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender all unto Jesus, all to Jesus, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Surrender your body. Why are you moving to Christ Jesus? Eric Christo Jesus. Surrender. Your family. Why are your family yo? Unto Jesus. Eri Yesu. That all whatever is concerning your family. Until you never, never, never quite again in family yo. Your finances. Eri Yesu nabio. Belongs to the Lord. Yo nabio amukama. And say to yourself. Era we gambe. Today, today, today. Olu ale lolu no. You, you, you poverty in my life. Gwe 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 avu mbula mubu angi. The Lord Jesus Christ who approved to you. Mukama wanga Yesu Christo again da kusi mbula wo. And you never come back. Era tolida. Into my life. Mubula mubu angi. Then you begin to speak that poverty. Oli okota andiko gambo obu avu. You poverty. Kati gwe obu avu. In my life. Mubula mubu angi. Be uprooted. Va wo. In the name Jesus Christ. Bring your name Yesu Christo. Who approves it? Christ Jesus. And if you say, I approve to you, not in your name, not in your powers, that is where people get confused. I speak to you in Jesus' name. Mm, it is true. But, the authority you are using must be of Jesus. 
speak to that condition. You get it, yeah, mbere, yo. You, you joblessness. Gwe, gwe, utakola. You, you joblessness. Gwe, gwe, utakola. The Lord will remove you. Ukama agenda kusimbula wo. The Lord Jesus Christ will remove Ukama you. Ukama Yesu Christo agenda kuja wo. From my life. Oh, Akujembula wo. And you'll never come back again. Ena toli danate. Now begin to order that. Katitandi kwa kuchira girecho. The removal of that joblessness in Jesus' name. In all whatever you do, once you step into faith, let the hand of God move you. Let your trust or your ability be the Lord's ability. Let all your words be his words. Because Ezekiel was moved not by himself. Mm. Ezekiel was moved by the hand of the Lord. And when he reached over there, he was taught what to say. Mm. I'm reading 37 verse 5 Ezekiel. That said the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. Bwati mukama katonda, bwagamba magumba ganonti, laba niingiza mukka mumwe kale muli babalamu. Ezekiel's appearance there. Okulabika kwa Ezekiel mu kifecho. Standing over there. Okuyimira mu kifecho. Was to witness the Lord's doing. Kwali kujulira nkola ya mukama. Yo presence in this condition is just to witness the working of God. Whether you are sick today, you are just a witness. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm here to witness your workings because I know you can do it. Give me the grace to tell the others that you can do it. I know, I know, I know, I know that Jesus is my Savior. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that Jesus is my Savior. I know, I know, oh, I know. He is a healer. Once you call him into your life, you are not the one who is going to heal yourself. He will heal you because he has the power to heal. You are to witness how he is healing you. Now begin to speak. A word of faith. The woman say, if I only touch his garment, I'll be healed. If I only touch his garment, I'll be healed. These are the words of faith. I don't know whether I will get healed. I don't know whether how it will be. No. Have faith in God. You was it to touch the garment. You was it to speak his word. I'm reading Mark 528 of Mark. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Kubanga ya gamba nti, bwe kuma kubu kubi kubiamba lobye, na wana, amangu wago, nesuro yomu saine kalira, na tegera mubili gwe, nga wanye zebwa echibono bonoche. Immediately. Amangu wago. You too, you can say the same word. I mean the word of faith. If I will only believe his word and touch my stomach and say, Jesus, the pain will go. Hey, it will go. 
Chitufu buja genda. Touch your stomach. Kwa atakulubuto luo. Where you feel the pain. Wa ulirobulumi. Say Jesus. Ganti Yesu. Thank you. Weba lenyo. For healing me. Oluwa kumponya. I receive you, Jesus Christ, into my life. I believe your healing. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. It is so fast. Because you are not the healer. But the moment you begin to meditate, and to think so much on how you are going to be healed. Knowing how far you have been sick. You begin now to gather the unbelief. Begin now to forget how far you have been sick. And now expect how much he can heal. Remember the animals in the forest. They have no maternity. No midwifery. But he heals them. They have no hospital. What about you? Be healed in Jesus' soul. 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 Be healed in Jesus soul. Be healed in Jesus Receive your healing. And the healing I'm talking about, it is not only physical pain. So many people, they have no physical pain, but they have no physical pain. Pain at heart. Somebody has no physical pain. But the heart is sick. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, My heart. Today, Jesus is healing you. My heart. Today, Jesus is healing you. Be healed in Jesus' name. My heart. My heart. My heart. Whatever made my heart sick. All the thoughts made my heart sick. All the troubles made my heart sick. Jesus is healing you. Jesus is healing you now. Jesus is healing you now. Jesus is healing you. My heart be healed. My heart be healed. My heart be healed. My heart be healed. In Jesus' holy name. You my finances. Christ Jesus is healing you. Is healing you now. Is healing you now. Whatever the debts you had accumulated, you my finances. Christ Jesus is paying the debts. Thank you, Jesus, you are paying my debts. Thank you, Jesus, you are paying. Thank you, Jesus, you are paying my debts. Thank you, Jesus, you are paying my debts. Thank you, Jesus, you are paying. Put the situation that you are seeing him doing it. Because you are not the one who is going to do it. Thank you, Jesus, you are paying my death. 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 Look at him. I know you will go to town to look for a job. But uh, see yourself that he is there giving you a job. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for giving me a job. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a job. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a job. Thank you, Jesus, for, Jesus for doing it for me. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a job. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it for me. In your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it for me. In your name, Jesus. He never said that you do it by yourself. He said, if you ask anything in my name, I'm the one who will do it. That the Father may be glorified through the Son. But when you begin to think, I'm going to build a house. Where will I get the plot? Say to yourself, you, my life, my personality, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to give you money. And you'll be able to build a house. 
speak to yourself. Well, you my personality. The Lord Jesus Christ will give you money. This is what he will do. He will buy you a plot. This is what he will do. He will build you a good house. In Jesus' name. Begin even to draw the plan. Start imagining how you enter the house. How you get out the house, your garage. Because you will not do it, he will do it for you. To go be the glory. Stepping into faith is speaking faith. Not believing whatever happened on you. Stepping into faith meaning stepping into miracle. Let a miracle life begin in your life. Let miracles begin to be performed in your life. Let you begin to witness as you step into faith. Say, Lord Jesus, give me the grace to step into faith. Lord Jesus, give me the grace to step into faith. Lord Jesus, give me the grace to step into faith. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Lord Jesus, give me the grace to step into faith. Lord Jesus, give me the grace to speak faith. To talk faith. Speak faith. Give me the grace. Step into faith. Lord Jesus, give me more grace to step into faith. To speak faith. To think faith. In Jesus' holy name. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Step, step into faith. Step into faith, believing that Christ Jesus will do it for you, not you. Forget your weaknesses, forget your disability, believing that Christ Jesus will do it for you. Father, we thank you. We we'll bless your holy name. And Jesus will pray. What is your situation today? Are you sick? What is the sickness? Asthma? Arthritis? Backache? Uh -uh. No. Step into faith. He has promised he will take that asthma away. He will take that asthma away. He will take that cancer away. You don't take it away because you don't have the ability. Speak his word, believing that he'll bring it to pass. Let's watch and see our sister Fatima Moti from Malawi. My name is Fatima Modi from Malawi. The problem brought me here is back pain and high blood pressure. And I feel hot in my legs up to the whole body. And uh, my back bones, they are loose like this, doing like this, doing, that's why I use this thing. And I feel a lot of pain in my back. I can't stand long. I can't sit long. I can't do anything at home. I need someone to assist me. These are my medical reports. This one is from Malawi. This one is from here. This is a medical report from Malmed Healthcare Services in Blantyre, Malawi, which belongs to Lady Fatima Moti. And uh, here her doctor is informing us that this lady has been visiting our clinic since January 2014 and she has got two chronic medical conditions dating way back six years ago. First of all, she's hypertensive and also developed 
spondylosis. And because of this spondylosis, she has got difficulties with ambulation. She cannot walk well. This was all confirmed and signed by her doctor, Dr. Charles Zamalala, the director of Malmed Healthcare Services Limited. In this other medical report, we have the findings from the x-ray that was taken of her lumbar spine. It's a report belonging to Lady Fatuma Mati. So here, upon doing this x-ray, they found that there's reduced bone mineralization. They also found that she has got osteophytes. These are growths on the bones of the spine. She has got reduced intervertebral disc spaces. So they made a final conclusion that she's suffering from lumbar straightening with loss of lordosis. She has got abnormal curvature of the spine together with lumbar spondylosis. That is the Fatuma. You can clearly see the lumbar corset that she wears for support because the pain in the back is so, so sharp for this period of six years. She cannot rise up or stand or walk without support of this corset. She has got difficulty in sitting for long. That is Lady Fatima from Malawi before the man of God. Already prayer has begun for her in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus Christ who paid the price on the cross at Calvary is touching her life right now. No one is moving her. It is the Holy Spirit who is moving her towards her healing. Let us go. It's time to walk. Go. It's time to walk from sickness to good health. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Watch the lady now. She's moving the lumbar corset. This is what the Lord Jesus has done for her. Pain is something of the past. She's free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm healed. I can walk fast. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're free. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank Him. What is your condition today? What is troubling you today? Repeat after me. Say, Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. I believe your salvation. I believe your salvation. I receive you. I receive you. Into my heart. Into my heart. Into my life. Into my life. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you for your salvation. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe your healing. I believe your healing. I receive you. I receive you. Into my life. Into my life. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because the one who is going to heal you is Christ Jesus himself. So healing is part of him. Receive him if you want to be healed. Healing is not just particles from Jesus. He is Jesus himself. Because the life he did not live, he spent 33 years on the earth. He did not spend millions of years. The life he did not live, he left for you to live it. The food he did not eat for 40 years, Days. He left it for you to eat for years. The peace is not entertained. He gave it to you. A man of sorrow. Acquainted with grief. He decided to take your grief. So, Ask him to enter your life. Whatever he did not use. 
the money he didn't use. Sente zata kozesa. He left it for you. Yazirekera gwe. Say Lord Jesus. Kanti mukama wange Yesu. I receive you. Mkuaniriza kati. Into my life. Mubula mubwange. Thank you. Webale nyo. For your healing. Oroku nyese wako. You, my body. Christ Jesus Christ yes. is healing you. Move, move, move. Tambula, Christ Jesus tambula, is healing tambula, you. Tambula. Talk to your body. You, my body. Christ Jesus is healing Christ you. Christ yes. You my body. Christ Jesus is healing Christo you. Christo you my stomach. Christ Jesus is healing Christo you. Yesu you my stomach. Christ Jesus is healing Christo you. Yesu you my back. Listen to me. Mpuliriza. Christ Jesus is healing Christo you. Yesu you my legs. Listen to me. Mpuliriza. In Jesus name. Yesu. Christ Jesus is healing Christo you. Yesu tap, tap your legs and set to your legs. You my legs. Christ Jesus is healing you Christo now. Yesu you my head eh? listen to me you head Christ Jesus is healing you 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 I'm only a witness you my shoulders Christ Jesus is healing you you my chest Christ Jesus is healing you be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name receive your healing receive your your healing. Receive your healing. I receive. The healing of your chest. I receive. The healing of your stomach. I receive. The healing of your throat. I receive. The healing of your eyes. I receive. The healing of your head. I receive. The healing of your stomach. I receive. The healing of your legs. I receive. The healing of your hands. I receive. Receive your healing. I receive. Be healed. 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 I receive. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. For those who have never touched a coin, I say a million in your pocket. I pray. In Jesus' name. Father, release them. Release money into their hands, into their pockets, into their lives, into their families. Receive prosperity. I receive. Receive prosperity. I receive. Receive prosperity. I receive. Receive prosperity. I receive. In Jesus' mighty name. For that your trouble, which is complicated. Let's pray together. Father in Christ Jesus. Lord you say two or three of us if we step into faith now we are at the platform of faith. That, that, that trouble the brother the sister is mentioning we bring it to you Jesus. Lord Jesus thank you for taking away this trouble. Thank you for taking away this debt. Thank you for paying all the debt. Thank you for paying all the debt. Thank you for bringing a good job into our brother's life, into our sister's life. Thank you for putting a good marriage into her life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, bless them all. Father, bless them all. Father, bless them all. Father, bless them all. In Jesus' holy name. Your words will step into faith. His is to do what he promised. I can see you succeeding. I can see your projects succeeding. I can see your goals come to pass. I can see you prospering. Father, glorify your holy name. We are witnesses. In Jesus, we pray. Come, visit Kakanda Ministries. Let Prophet Kakanda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God. Healing and deliverance at the Kakanda Ministries are free.